Hi, this is JR, the Tex Patent Saigon. I don't do many uh, camera reviews or uh, camera accessory reviews, but today I'm doing one because I found an application that I think that Sony uh, users of like the Sony Alpha cameras or the Sony RX or HX cameras would really find interesting and very helpful to them. The application I'm talking about is Kamudu. It's a really interesting uh, remote control app for the Sony camera that uh, replaces the uh, imaging uh, experience that Sony offers. It's uh, a lot better and wanted to tell you a little bit about it today. The guy that wrote the, the Kamudu app is named Stefan Conrad. He's uh, not a kid that uh, just got out of school and wrote an app. He's a 40-year-old computer professional, a professional software developer. His hobby's photography, so he was really interested in producing an application that was better uh, than the one that the Sony Imaging app uh, provides. He wanted an app that had more features and uh, gave you a lot more information than the Sony app. Early in uh, 2018, he discovered the communication protocols for the Sony cameras and uh, then began to uh, develop the app. And six months later, uh, the app was online on the Google Play Store. Komodo uh, is, is a full remote program for the Sony. It offers live view and uh, all the controls that you need to run your Sony camera. I've been really happy with it. I can even do remote focus with my old 2014 model A5100s. I can do touch focus. It's really great. When I'm using a gimbal, I use Komodo as a monitor and a remote for my camera. It's really great. I have full control over the camera and I can see what's going on on my phone's six inch screen. I really like it. It's really, really useful if you're a one man operation and you're doing vlogging. It's, uh, you can set the remote on a little, little stand. I have a little wire stand. I can set it on a tabletop and then uh, use the uh, remote to run my camera that's sitting on a tripod. And recently, uh, the Beta 3 version was out and I was a beta tester on it. Uh, it really had some improvements over the first version. Now that uh, Beta 3 is uh, concluded and the actual application is on the Play Store again, so the new version is version 3. Now version 3 offers some improvements and things that the older version doesn't have. You know, the Sony app is, is okay. Uh, I had problems with it connecting and things like that. I haven't really had that problem with the Komodo app. It connects fast, uh, keeps track of my cameras. I have several cameras kind of registered with Komodo and they all uh, come up really fast. No problem there. Uh, the operation is real intuitive. Everything is uh, easy to use. I think that, um, I think you'll really like it. Komodo really appeals to a more advanced shooter, not that I'm one, but uh, if you're an advanced shooter or a serious amateur, I think you'll like Komodo. It gives you a lot of control. In the, in the paid version, you can adjust your contrast, your saturation, get histograms, uh, zebra, all the things that a professional needs. If you, if you want to know what the app is capable of, you can look on the Play Store and see a list of all its features. There's a few features on the paid version that are not included in the free version. But if you want to try the app, the free version offers everything, including touch focus, if your camera's capable of handling touch focus. So uh, you really get a, a great uh, opportunity to try it before you buy the Pro features. And honestly, you may not even need the Pro features. I'd suggest that you download Komodo from the App Store and try it out. I think you'll like it. I definitely think you'll like it better than the Sony app. This is JR, the Texpat and Saigon, saying try Komodo and thank y'all for watching.